I need an ambulance. When Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend dialed 911, TMZ has discovered that he was foaming at the mouth, unconscious, and without a pulse. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. On, driving, make you feel some type of way. The Atlanta rapper's girlfriend Amber Williams is distraught as she speaks with the operator on the emergency call we were able to receive on his passing. My boyfriend sleep on the couch this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. The girlfriend of Rich Homie Quan claims that after she arrived home from dropping her son off at school, she covered him with a blanket while he was still on the couch. Before I took my son to school this morning, put up a blanket over him. She claims she flipped him over, causing him to foam at the lips, and she didn't feel a heartbeat or see him breathing. Rich Homie Quan passed away on Thursday at his Atlanta residence, and the Fulton County morgue received his body. Never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. The family of Rich Homie Quan told us they were devastated and heartbroken by his untimely passing and that they were looking for answers. Although the cause of death is still unknown, the circumstances surrounding Rich Homie Kwan's death are partially revealed by this new recording. The hip-hop community is reeling after RHQ's passing, and condolences are flooding in. Boosie just revealed that he spoke with Kwan. Back in the day, Rich Homie Kwan and Young Thug were the closest of friends. For the hood, for the nigga, for the nigga. All things considered, the two had some amazing collaborations, and people were constantly interested in what they had to give. Regretfully, they finally experienced a minor falling out. Fans were consequently dissatisfied and left wondering what may have been. Rich Homie Kwan, meanwhile, was formerly listed as a witness in the YSL RICO trial and has since been connected to it. Rich Homie Kwan was mentioned in court yesterday. The prosecution actually asked Lil Woody a question regarding RHQ as a result of this, and it was a fantastic moment that ended with him asking Thug the same thing. Not only did Thugger laugh heartily, but so did his attorney, Brian Steele. In the meantime, RHQ was questioned in an interview published by academics over Woody's purported role in the shooting incident at an Atlanta barbershop that left his father injured. The incident was also referenced in a rap song called Daddy. Wealthy brother the question seemed to upset Quan quite a bit. He asserted that Woody is lying and distorting the truth. What is a liar? The barbershop did get shot up with. Even though he didn't want to go into specifics. Quan thinks the YSL witness is making things up and that the barbershop wasn't even open at the time of the shooting. The YSL RICO trial will get forward today. Little Woody has been on the stand for weeks, and hardly any, if any, progress has been made. In response to Lil Woody's remarks on her during the ongoing YSL RICO trial, Akbar V shared a screenshot of what appears to be direct messages between the two of them. During his testimony, Brian Steele, the lawyer for Young Thug, showed Woody an image of Akbar and called her dirty as hell back in the day. Woody acknowledges in the direct messages that he lied about her. This why I want never argue with the internet cause if you know you know, Akbar captioned the screenshot. In the messages, Woody seemingly wrote, I love you ain't mean no harm and asked why she's feeding into the false narrative. Before posting the DMs, Akbar had gone on a rant about the situation on X Woody you one lying ass NA, she wrote in one post with a number of laughing emojis. You know damn well I never was around you me and you never even like each other you just sitting on that damn stand lying on me. When was me and you ever around each other? As I recall when me and Thug fell out you never was nowhere around me and the messed up part is you know this when I just heard the call so she said my name you didn't tell her my name until she said it to you you wanted to say anybody name why not the person who was beefing with Thug you one sick individual and a follow up. She added, you saying I was dirty and I know you was dirty you and our people as I recall how was I dirty when I was outside in Gucci in 2015 let's run pics back. Woody has been making headline after headline in recent days for his testimony in the trial. It appears that Lil Woody attempted to coerce Brian Steele, Young Thug's attorney, into using the N-word in his testimony on Tuesday during the YSL RICO trial. The N would give me money. What is E? As Steele was reading a passage to Woody, he asked him to explain what he meant by the letter N in an attempted explanation. Steele started to spell the word. N-I-G-G. Oh, nigga. Feel what I'm saying? But he did not finish. In response to the clip going viral on social media, fans have been having plenty of laughs. Steele's too honorable to even spell it hesitated on that second G. Didn't even get to the A, one user remarked. Others joked they wouldn't have a problem with Steele if he had fallen for it. I'm gonna go on a limb and say Thug has given Brian a pass and he's invited to all the cookouts till the end of time, one fan wrote. Another agreed, the day he took his tie and jacket off and asked if he could do his 20 days in a cell with his client, is the day I would have given him a pass. Throughout his time on the stand, Woody has experienced numerous viral moments. He made headlines earlier this month when he acknowledged that his 2015 remarks about Thug were completely made up. I don't recall none of it. I just know. Bringing up old issues with previous remarks without adequately defending them, and preventing him from reaching 
a resolution. Every time the police was acting he was trying to get me, they kept bringing his name up. To get police off his back and avoid trouble, Woody further revealed why he talked on Thugger in the first place, claiming that he had lied about everything he had told them about the rapper's alleged offenses back in 2015. Whatever y'all want me to say, I was here. That's what I told Gator and Dennis. Lil Woody said during his court appearance in Young Thug's trial. Kept coming after me because they felt like, okay, they can make a case out of him or whatever they trying to do. And y'all wrong because y'all know that I'm full of ST. And y'all keep trying to drag me to bring up Bull's tea that y'all know that I've said. Why is y'all doing that? Leave me alone. Lil Woody was also questioned by the prosecution regarding the specifics of Young Thug's alleged crimes in 2015. His current position runs counter to his purported assurances from years ago that he realized he was snitching and the supposedly verifiable information that authorities were able to obtain from their discussions. Even though he is unable or refuses to recollect making these claims, Woody is still testifying as of press time on this first trial day following a few weeks off. I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. In addition, Lil Woody recently launched an angry tirade against the prosecutors grilling him during his deposition, providing an explanation for his discussion of the thugger scenario, and even earning himself a hostile witness designation for remarks he made about a detective. And I'm telling you now, you ask me about 2015, I have got my life together. You can appreciate how incongruous it sounds that Woody faces jail time if he refuses to assist, or reveals too much about his own misdeeds. All in all, it looks like a very problematic scenario that has been challenging for prosecutors to handle. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't want to lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. Lil Woody continued in the Young Thug trial. I'm tired of y'all cause y'all know y'all wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. I'm telling you I don't recall. That's what you want me to say. Since advising a witness is strictly forbidden. The prosecution nearly got into hot water for suggesting how little Woody ought to testify. On Woody's remarks on the detective during the Young Thug trial court appearance, this is what prompted the state to examine him as a hostile witness. Detectives thought his brain was the size of a squirrel brain, so you could just tell him anything, he gonna go for it.